In this lesson, we will understand an important concept used in Microsoft Project, Views. Views display in a particular format a subset of the information that you enter in Microsoft Office Project. To explain this, let us take an analogy. For this analogy, imagine that you are a project manager who has undertaken the construction of a new commercial building. For this building, there will be several different domains that you will be planning and designing for. For example, the architectural views, floor layout plans, the electrical layout, the plumbing layout, the sewage plans, the interior design, the construction details, civil engineering plans, and so on and so forth. The project is the same to construct a commercial building, but there are so many different dimensions to it. When you liaison with the electrical engineer, only the electrical layout of the building is of interest to them and not the plumbing layout plan. This level of complexity will be present in all real life projects that will require a professional project manager of some sort. And the great thing is Microsoft Project makes it very easy for you to manage this complexity by providing you views. Now, coming out of the analogy, let me repeat again. Views display in a particular format a subset of the information that you enter in Microsoft Project. That subset of information is stored in Project and is displayed in any view that calls for it. What you are seeing on the screen right now is actually a particular view. It is, in fact, the most popular view in Microsoft Project and in the whole of project management discipline and this view is called as the Gantt chart. Gantt chart view is the default view used in Microsoft Project and for small and tiny projects will be almost completely self-sufficient. The Gantt chart view is actually made up of a chart that you can see here and a table together and they are dynamically connected to each other in the project. For example, if I change any value here or here, that will reflect immediately in the chart. Now take a moment to notice that there is a complete tab in the ribbon dedicated to views in Microsoft Project. And there are about 30 main views pre-built into project. You can see here. That about covers every imaginable view you can think of. However, if you design a new view for yourself, it can be saved and reused again. There are three high-level classifications of views in project. Task views, resource views, and assignment views. We will revisit views several times in our examples later. Since I have not yet defined for you what resources and assignments are, I will leave it at that for now. It is important to understand two things about views for now. First point. Microsoft Project uses views to display subsets of your project information. For example, the resource use usage or the task usage. Second point, views only present information in different ways. That is, they do not manipulate information in any way. So, in conclusion for this lesson, we have understood the basic concept of views. We have seen that project provides a lot of pre-built views and that there are three high-level classifications of views.